Hello everybody, Creative Crafts here, and guess what? It's Kathy. Um, right now my computer is not working very well, so I cannot make um, my normal videos that I do. I have to rend it, and because of all the problems I'm having with it now, I have to use my iPhone. So it's just going, I'm gonna have to try to make it quick. I can't make them um, go faster, fix it, I can't do that. So what I'm making today is I'm making a nice wind light lamp, what do you call it? Or a light that you put on your balcony or a kitchen table. Um, let me start with these are picture frames I got from Ikea. They came in a two pack. The only problem with these is when you buy the cheaper ones, it's, this is plastic, it's not um, glass. So um, that's the only fallout, but it's okay because you can't use a candle in it, a real candle. So you have to either use battery lit, lit candles or lights, LED lights with batteries. So that's probably what I'm gonna use for this. First thing is, like I said, you take all the pieces out, the backs and everything, you take them all out, glue it all together. You see that I painted it, but I'll show you that step later. The first step is you take the glass, the plastic piece out where it's supposed to be glass. What I did is I used a stencil and I put the stencil on, on the glass in the middle where I wanted it and I used a white marker. You can use any kind of permanent marker and go through the stencils, make the marks that you want, like I did here with this. And then you take it off. Be very careful, don't smudge it because then you're gonna not gonna look nice. If you have any mistakes and something you wanna change, I have here, it's a nail polish corrector uh, pen for when you may do your nails and you want to fix it, you can always, once you put the glue on it, you can always go around and fix it so this looks perfect. It works great with it, or you can just leave the glue on it the way it is. I would clean it up a little bit. And um, the next step would be putting the hot glue on it. Like you see, see here, I already started it. You have, if you're new of working with a glue gun, first I would suggest you to work on, um, on a cardboard piece like here or something like that with this with the pencil or pen, whatever. And then you make your markings there and then you remove it just like as if you would do it from the glass carefully and practice with the glue gun how it works because every glue gun is different. I have two different one glue guns. I have the baby, not the mommy. The father is much bigger, believe me, I don't have one yet. There are bigger glue guns. I would use actually this one for this project, but I ran out of glue. This is what it looks like when it's done. I love how it looks. Fallout is when you use hot glue on a plastic, you can see that it kind of, you know, um, bent. So that, that's fine. Once you get it in the back into the frame and you glue it on there, it should look fine. So what you need to do is you take your glue, glue gun, hot glue gun, make sure it's hot. Be careful so you don't burn your finger. And you work with it. You press the glue very gently and you go up. And then don't forget, you gotta go like this so that you don't, um, there was a piece of sticking up. If you don't want to have all that uh, hot glue strings that usually happens when you go, if you go like this, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can. You go like this and then you go like this. You see that string? You don't want that. So just don't go like this because you're going to get the string. What you need to do is you got to push down. Put a little bit of glue on it. Don't put too much. Don't put too much pressure. Stop. And then go in circles until you see that the glue is no longer connected to the gun. And then it makes a smooth, 
it goes down smooth. It's the same thing when you're doing soldering. If you're doing soldering, soldering is the same way. You need to do this so that it doesn't have that bumpy effect. It has to have a smooth effect when you do this kind of stuff. So, and you just keep going throughout the whole thing. I, like I said, I'm not, I can't do the whole thing and show you the whole video. I have to work with it like this because show you step by step here, short, very short steps, what you need to do. Like I said, you do the whole thing with the glue gun like I did with here. Like I said, whatever color you use, it'll you'll be able to see it through the glue. So, and that's why I decided to use white. Because I wanted the white with the background on this different. So, like I said, you take your glue gun and you just squeeze. Don't try to be careful how you squeeze. Don't squeeze too much. And try to fill it all up like it should be. Slowly, do it slowly and gently. Let go. And then, like I said, go like this. And it makes it completely smooth. And this is, you got to do it to all four. All four of these plastic pieces, you need to put the stencil on it. Before you, before you do that, little tip, all these plastic pieces that are in the frame, both sides has a film on it. I'll show you. You have to take one side off first before you put that on. Take one side off, the side that you're going to paint on. Where the hell are you? Hopefully, no, it's there. I thought I put that on the wrong side. And you can pull it, pull it off. Very easy. But before you use the permanent marker on one side, make sure that film is off there first. And then you can paint it on. It'll be stupid because you're going to have to peel it off. You want it to look like glass. And then after that, you have to peel it all off, all the stuff. So... Finish all of these, and then we can, um, I'll show you the next step. Just let me do this one really quick. So you just go like this, try not to go too far. And sometimes if I suggest, make sure this is down like this. That it's not like this because it'll hit pieces that you already did that it's wet and then you'll have a big mess. So make sure you go like this so that it doesn't get in the way. So the next step. Put this aside for a second. Is painting the picture frame here. The best non-toxic way to do that is... Shoe polish. I thought my husband had brown, but he didn't. He only had black. And then I found out this thing was must have been the, so old that the sponge fell apart when I first started using it. So what I'm got to do now is I, like I said, these sponges, you can take get the sponges, very cheap, a pack of six. Make sure you don't get any marks on the rest of these pieces from the Put this aside so you don't make a mess out of it. You see that I started it already? And this is from Paul, um, shoe polish. So this is what you need to do. You do need to do the inside and the outside. It be makes no different sense if you didn't do this side. So and oh that's the glue. So what I'll probably have to do is look for some paint that's pretty much the same color, like a dark brown, blackish. And paint these areas where the glue is because the glue wouldn't have the wouldn't doesn't go through doesn't go through the glue so so like I said it's very difficult because okay, I have to do this maybe yeah very weird that I have to do that but okay so I got some on here and how you do it is just like if you were staining wood. You go through it first like this. You can use a brush too. But I just use the sponge. See, like a, because of the sponge I'm using, it creates a foam. 
which is pretty good because it, then it goes into all the crevices, the creeps and crevices, what do you call it, cracks and dents and bumps. It goes through the whole thing. And you just go through the, around the whole, all the frames on the inside and the outside. So I'm doing this now because I don't want to make this video too long because I can't edit it and make it shorter. If some areas seem to you not dark enough, then just go over it again. And then once you go over it, what you need to do is a little tip. You take your, like I said, you can just let it sit on there for a little bit if you want it darker, even though this is a black color. It still looks good, I think. And then you just make sure you wipe it, just like with any kind of stain, you, you, wipe, you have to wipe it down because you don't want it to anything to be uneven. So you just wipe it down. And if it's still not the color that you want, like I said, you can just do it again and then just let the color sit on it then, if you want it darker. This is real wood, these frames. That's what the only frames you should use. If you use a frame that already has color, which you can, you can do that, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but then remember that if you buy something, that a frame that already has a color you want, then I would do that, but if you want to paint it a different color, I would suggest you to get one that's not painted yet. Very important that you do, make sure you get all the corners so it doesn't look funny, especially when you're, because it's like a lantern, you have to make sure that you get all the creeps and crevices of all the corners. Or keep going around as many times as you want. So you can make sure you see all the areas that you didn't do yet or you missed. Like I said, some areas you won't be able to do it if the glue sneaked down on the sides. Then you'll see a light in some areas. And you just keep looking. Use your fingernail, but you wear gloves, please. I suggest you use this kind of um, the shoe polish because it's non-toxic. And it um, doesn't stink like normal um, stain. And it works just as good. You don't have to worry about the fumes. You don't have to worry about doing it outside. Like I said, go around it several times if you want to. Like I'm doing here, just keep going around until you get it to the color you want. The longer you let it sit, the darker it'll get. So like I said, if you want it darker, let it sit. Like these areas here. I'm, let, I'm just putting it on, on all over the place and then I'm let, just gonna let it sit. And then I will wipe it down. And then you'll have a nice little antique color. So, there you go. Make sure you buy good gloves. These gloves are cheap and I think it went through my, it went through the gloves. Mm -hmm. I just dumped it all over the floor, damn it. That's okay, I can pick it up later. So now I will go around and wipe it or damp it, you know, with my cloth. So that it's not too wet everywhere. And then let it, put it aside, let it dry. And then you can see where you need to paint it sometimes. I try not to get too much glue here in between the corners 
But as you can see, one corner here, I done it. And I forgot this little side. That's what I told you. Make sure you always double check that you did the whole thing correctly. See this? I'm always finding areas that I didn't get enough stuff in it. So look closely everywhere. Turn it around at all angles so you can see if there's any areas that you missed. Very important because you don't want to have it sitting somewhere and then someone sees this little white area. You don't want that. So this is the next step is that. Now we need to wait and let it dry. Okay, it didn't go through, lucky me, yay. Let it dry, and once it's dried, I will glue these back inside here. I mean, you can see right away how gorgeous it's gonna look, I don't care, I'll just wash my hands again. And you stick this in here, and look how great that looks. And once you put all four on, it's gonna look gorgeous, so. I will post a picture how this would look, but you know, maybe, oh, it's still kind of wet. I don't want to stick anything on it right now. I'm trying to make this video as fast as I can um, because I can't, like I said, render it. So I have to make the video off the iPhone and then post it right away. So, and um, I hope it's not gonna be too long. So far it's only 16 minutes and I wanna get this done as fast as possible. So I don't need the stain anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of this and throw it away. Try to clean, when you're doing projects, try to clean up while you're working because you don't wanna have these things hanging around. So, and like I said, if you use polish see it stained my hand it'll i'll just take some i have some wipies with bleach just just do it really gently in areas and rewash my hands so and what i'm going to do right now is because i use this area for the staining i want to finish the gluing That was still kind of warm, damn it. Didn't want to have that happen. So what I'm gonna do is like heat that uh, wherever up, heat it up a little bit. And then, like I said, you gotta keep going. Sometimes it takes a while. I mean, this one had a little bit of a think string on it, but it's fine. What's so good about this is if the glue goes over, you don't really see it, that it went over because of the fact you had the color underneath it. So that gives you a little plus point there. But still be careful on how much glue you put on there because if you put too much, it's not gonna look nice. When you get into skinny areas, try to be a little bit less generous on pressing the glue gun. Press it a little bit lighter so you don't have too much. And then I go into the fat area and then like I said, twist. And then you have that. And when you get into like little corner areas like I have here, have this little triangular thing. I put a little dot of glue and go like this. And what I try to do is, make sure I don't have any fuzzles on it. I take a, you can use a cute uh, toothpick, but I use a screw. And you try to do it right away. Push the glue to the corners in the end so you have that diamond shape. And like I said before, when you're done, do that and 
you need to go like this. Sometimes if you're not fast enough, this is what will happen. You see what happens here? It's okay, just keep going up. You'll be able to cut it off later. But this is what I'm talking about. You need to be very, very, very careful and quick when it comes to um, working with the glue gun. Especially when you do it in small areas. So you do this. This just needs a tiny drop. With these tiny little dots, you need to just press the glue gun once and let it drip and then do the same thing. So, and like I said, you just keep going and finish this. But right now I want to show you what you can do for the bottom and for the top. What you need now is a box, a piece of cardboard, I think I will put on the bottom of it. So let me get that. I'm gonna find one that's big enough. I have this here, and I need my scissors. Hmm. I don't want to have this pulled in it. one problem about making a video like this you're gonna have a very lengthy video because you need to if you if you're not really prepared I was prepared but I didn't, thought I could fit the picture frame on a a picture frame on the bottom but it doesn't fit like that so what I'm gonna do is this now so, so I'm gonna use this Said, cut the piece of wood Just make sure that it fits perfect on top yeah, wood. to make it a little bit more sturdy I would suggest to double it that'd be also a great idea as a stencil the other one that we already had cut and take your marker or whatever you have next to you make a mark so you want I can mark it so it's exactly the same size as the other one and then you start cutting I 
renovated my little dog area. I made a video for that and I had no chance of, to um, render it because of my computer not working correctly. suggest is I'll probably use this for the bottom so you can see it but I'm going to end up using this color again on the bottom but I want to make it a little bit thicker so you make sure you get this all nice and thick Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. So. probably do is go like this I mean, you're not going to really see the bottom of it anyway because I'm going to stick stuff inside with the lights so you won't see it so and like I said you need to make sure you put it down and see after you see that how it looks okay you need to cut maybe some off that's good and I do that just cut a minimal just a little corner off. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. So, I'm try it again. And as long as you don't see it, because I'm going to put some twine on the bottom. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So as long as you know that you can stick that on top. Next step is just stick some glue on the bottom here. Like I said before, when you're working with hot glue, and you make it a very small on it, you need to be quick as possible so that it doesn't dry up, cool off, I mean, too fast. So that's perfect. Put a little pressure on it. And there you go. You have a matching bottom. It's pretty stable. As long as you don't put heavy rocks in it, it should be fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add twine to the bottom. So make sure I have enough rolled out. I'm saving for a new computer so the next couple of videos will just be a little bit rough for us to this time. But after that, it will be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit more off here. So it's not too uneven. So, and what you do is 
You take your twine. I would suggest to go into a little corner. Um, when you cut the twine, normally it splits up. You have all these split ends on it. What I do is I take a little bit of glue, wait until it cools just a little bit, and then press it down. Or you can use an object to press it down so that you don't have the splinters on it. That's a tip that you can um, prevent. So let's do this. I want to put the first layer with... thicker and go across. I don't like that I had that glue sticking here. It'll make it uneven on the bottom. So just go like this. Use something to spread it so that you don't have anything on the bottom here. You don't want that. And I'll give you another quick tip when we're done with this. We'll go around again. I think I will just do this long um, glue across the bottom just this one time. So, and that. And go to the next one. My glue gun is my best friend. I just, I love hot glue. I just do. If you want, you can also use a thicker piece of twine or even a rope, but try to match it with the colors. I decided to use this color because it, it makes a little country look to it. Be careful that you don't burn your fingers because the glue can be very hot. I will go one more time across the bottom pot and then I will work my way up to the top. I think I'll probably put at least three or four rows because I don't want no one to see the bottom of the box. So what you do is make sure you take your rope and put it in a position where people can't see the glue. Like that. You see? That's all you need to do. And then go around another time. You can use also use ribbon. You can also use bling. They have these little diamond uh, ribbon with diamonds on it. You can use that. If you want to paint it white instead, um, they do have white shoe polish and you can use that on here too that's all you can use any color you want whatever fan fits your fancy so i think this is gonna look awesome when it's done yeah i'm gonna just gonna put like three row, rows this one is just for the bottom part and then i want to put one more on the top so that it's even like I said, make sure there's no glue. I've worked with hot glue for so long, but I think my fingers are prone to the, how hot it can be. <laughs> Actually, I'm a professional cook. I'm a chef and I work now for the kitchen for over almost 25 years now. Here in Germany, I worked for one of the big companies Baya, they also have restaurants. Funny, isn't it? You know, the Bear Aspirin, the main company is actually from here, from Leverkusen. Funny. So, go like this. So you don't have any extra buildup here. And then I will cut it here. So I don't want it uneven. So I'm gonna start again on this side. 
And I think I'm just going to put some glue here on the corner and then on this corner because I don't think I need to put it all across this time. So hold it with my nail, fingernail, and then here. Oh, maybe I need to put some in the middle there. Man. Like I said, just a very tiny bit. You don't want to put too much glue on it. What I do is hold it tight a little bit. And then I'll go around. I'll put some here and some here. It's close to each other. If you hear any funny noises, it's my son. He streams a lot. So, and then go across and go down and make sure you get it. You always have a good end and a bad end. So now I can cut it here. And then I put a little bit of glue here. Just a little. And go like this. on that part. This is for the splitting of the rope. You don't want it to have it sitting like that. So, and just go like this. And here you go. You could put more on it. It could be thicker. I think it looks great. The way it is. I got glue all over my fingers. Now that this is a little dried, what I could do now is put some of the ones that I already finished. Make sure all the... I have this brush that I got for my hair. You can uh, actually use this to get all the strings out. And if they're stuck on there, then you just peel them off. Don't press too hard because you don't want it to um, scratch the plastic because the plastic can get scratched very easily. It's one thing I hate about when you don't watch what you're doing. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some uh, window cleaner. I'm hoping that this video is not going to take an hour like it did with my two hours, like my live video I made. So, I'm afraid to... I don't want to touch it to the black that's there. So, I'm just going to spray some window cleaner on it. Clean it up a little bit. Also a good way to get rid of all the hairs. Yeah, that worked fine. So, and what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to put glue all around on the inside. Like I said, lift that up. I 
I'm just gonna try first only one corner, one, one side, and see if that works out fine. Because I don't wanna put it all around the whole thing, so. And so I'll stick this in. And hold it down. Try to hold it down to till the glue cools. It's a little tough because the thing is so bent. There you go. Oh, wrong way. So, I mean, you can fix it in a diff the other direction if you want, but I just choose to put it this way, so. And now to the next one. So I made already two of them which are done. So what I can do is glue those ones on there. Like I said, pull this up, put the glue gun inside, and just do the side, one side. You know, it, it's gonna take a while. I need to go like this now. So, fix it back up. Let's take the Want to make sure, make sure you put them in the right direction, especially now that you're using hot glue. Um, if you use the hot glue and then you say, oh man, damn it, I put them, they're all different. You don't want that. So, like I said, I'll suggest that. There you go. Clean it up after I put everything together. Like I said, you can put them all in. I'm just gonna put them all in for now to show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna put any glue on these ones because I have to, um, come on, why are you sticking up there? Oh, so, okay. so, and I'm just gonna put them all in here, like I said, just so I can show you what it looks like. wondering where you were. So here's the other one. Like I said, I'm just going to stick it in there so I can show you what it looks like. Finished. There you go. Now let me get my lights so we can finish this video. long handles. I have a list of things here. Small items. cookies, bags, miscellaneous jewelry, forms, cookie forms, miscellaneous flowers, Easter, grass, moss, cookies. Um, did want to do this. I have some moss that I want to use. Put that in there. Break it all up. You don't have to glue it or anything. Just figure out what I did with my lights. I usually have everything ready right in hand. Not today, cookie, not today. I have batteries. That helps me 
out. Batteries here, so I'm not sure I'm gonna need them. Gonna be a very empty video now. I think I found it. Thank you. Here we go. So I found the lights that I want to use. Yeah, it's going to be like an hour video, but oh, oh well. Sorry guys, very, really sorry. Got to look online to see what I can find for with a, um, Another program where I don't have to make such lengthy videos or something I can fix this one with. Now I'll move the batteries in. As I watch me have the wrong size batteries, I'll start crying. I'll just take them apart like this and you can just stick them in stick it in and if you want you can stick some flowers in there take the tags off I think that looks pretty cool You don't need the flowers if you don't want. You can also take this out, put some flowers in, and then put a glass container, and then you can probably use um, a real candle. You know, get something like this, put it inside, then you can have your candle inside, and that should work fine too. There are so many different things you can do. You can use a, a normal um, candle holder, a glass one. Make sure you put it, a candle in glass if you're gonna put it inside. So another tip if you want, if you wanna make it as a, um, if you wanna hang it up, what you could do is double roll this rope, get a very tiny screw, like an eagle, I'll show you quickly because I want to maybe make this exactly maybe one hour. So what you do is cut it and you can twist the rope so that it becomes one, so it's thicker. You could also do that for the bottom if you want. And then connect it here to the top and you have something where you can hang it if you want. You can use some use steel wire, can use everything. I just did this for a little centerpiece for the table for outside, little country style looking centerpiece. Um, I'm not done with it, so that's why I don't wanna put do too much gluing and stuff yet because I still have to take these out, the ones out, fix it up a little bit, cut off any excess um, uh, glue that's hanging around and then well, then we're done. If anybody else has any good ideas, other ideas that I could do with this, please, below, make a comment or have questions. What I used, I have everything. I, like I said, I explained everything what I did. I used shoe polish instead of the stain for the wood because the stain for wood smells. And I have a dog here and, I, and it's... Today it's raining, so I don't want to go outside. So I said, okay, you know what? I know that I can use shoe polish. So tips, shoe polish instead of normal stain to stain wood. Make sure you get real wood frames that you want to do it with because plastic frames don't work. If you get a plastic frame, then you can maybe just paint it the color you want. Um, two, make sure that the if you want to use a real candle, Make sure that the, the frames have real glass in it. If it has plastic, then you have to use a 
candle holder that's big enough so none of the flames will melt. Don't make it too big so it doesn't melt here. So three, try to use a small glue gun so that you know you don't have all these extra things hanging around everywhere. Another tip is if you don't want to have it white like I have it here, you can use a brown permanent marker, any color you want, red. You can use this as centerpieces for a wedding and then you can use some bling. I'll show you. Still have a few more minutes. I have this stuff here. And what you could do is you take this, don't want to stain that, and maybe cut it just a little bit. I'll cut it a little bit long. I mean, I have so much of it, so it's okay. And then you can stick this on here, like this. All around it, on both sides, if you want. And if you want also, you can also add little, when you put a little, just a tiny bit glue on it, and then put round diamonds in here. Little round diamonds. Or you can get glitter glue when you want to use the little diamonds. Use um, glitter glue for the color you want. Silver, gold, they have all colors. So that's another tip. There's so many things you can do with this little idea. I saw this, and but I saw people using old, um, what do you call it, um, garden fences with design something like this. But here in Germany, I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any whatsoever. So I said, okay, what do I do to get this 3D effect? I said, you know what? Use hot glue. Just it's so easy. I mean, it looks awesome, I think. I mean, it, that's it's it, awesome. You can use this for anything. You can use this for... Um, Put a flower, a vase, in, a fat vase in here. Stick it in, and then put the flowers in. Can use that for a cover. There's so many different things for a wedding. Also, like I said, you can make a cover on the top too to match with this, and then stick a slot in it so you people can um, put their their wedding cards. People come in at the wedding, they will have a card in their hand, they want to put it somewhere. Instead of putting it in something that keeps falling out, here's another idea. And what you could do is once you make the top part, you can put little hooks on it so that it lifts up when it's done. You know, when you want to take it home and lift it. And then they can just take the hook things off and reuse this. I mean, it's a great wedding gift. It's a great idea to use it for anything else. I can't stand seeing that anymore that piece off there you go and this is my little idea my tutorial on how to make um a shirt nice um table decorations with lights you can use it the 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 ideas are uh, go endlessly on what you could use this for and how what other things you can do you can do other colors you don't need to do what i what i have done like i said you can use bling all around it or all just around here you know um, if you want to have something nice and shiny you know like if you have a room full of white then can paint this white I would suggest to use white shoe polish so that you still have the wood grain in it that would look awesome I didn't have that sorry luck sad to say but you know what I'm thinking I'm gonna buy today go into the city and get some white shoe polish so I can make another one, but this time I'm going to use probably this heart shape. I got these from Amazon from a company. I don't know exactly which company it is, I can tell you. I also have Christmas ones, and they also have bigger ones. I can just use these corner pieces here and put that on here. I think I'm going to do that on the next one with the white. I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to put bling. I think I'm going to use silver glitter. Silver glitter glue, hot glue. And that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use these this little bling here. Definitely I'm going to do that for my next next tutorial. I don't want to do one after another, so that will come most likely for like a Christmas or wedding idea. So the video my video is almost an hour long. Sorry people. Love you guys. 
Um, time to now do my cleaning up. I will finish putting the glue on this. And if you follow me on Instagram or on Pinterest, I will post a picture or I can make a short video and then post it when it's done. I'll, that probably will do that. We'll finish this. And then the next video after this one will be the finished product. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. And if, you, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you um, want to see more videos of mine, please subscribe. And that little bell on the side of it, press that. And you'll get notifications whenever a new video comes out that I made. So I wish you guys a great day. And hope to see you again. Bye.